guys, it's Carolyn with Crafting with Wine, and I'm going to do another two page 12 by 12 scene scrapbooking layout. And this one is quite detailed from the birthday layout, happy birthday layout that I did uh, a few days ago. So I really hope you give this a try, and I really hope this layout a try. And I really hope that you enjoy this layout. Now, um, this layout I am calling How Does Your Garden Grow? And this is a layout that is for some pictures that I have from too, way too many years ago. I am so far behind on my scrapbooking, it's not even funny. And I do not scrapbook in chronological order. I scrapbook by the pictures that I pull out that inspire me, and that's how I scrapbook. However, I do put my pages in chronological order, or maybe not chronological order, but year order. They're all, the layouts go in their year that they're set aside for album and I've only used three different Cricut cartridges on this layout but I have a lot of images so let's get started my background layer is this uh, medium pink color that is 12 by 12 and then I have this really pretty light blue color that will be the sky and I've cut it at 11 and a quarter by 11 and a half because I wanted it to butt up to the very end of the right hand side of my layout and that will be the same case on the right hand side that I've done the same thing where it butts up to the left hand side of my layout. Now let's see here what the first image is that I'm going to lay down and it's going to be my peach tree. It's actually an apple tree but I cut the apples in orange to represent a peach tree. It's cut at 4.13 by 8.42 and this represents the, the layout that I, the pictures that I had from some time ago that was when we decided to do plant a garden and we wanted some fruit bearing trees and my daughter and I went out when she was quite small and we bought a peach tree and it had one single peach on it and we were in a car and what we did was open up the sunroof <laughs> and had the tree sticking out the top of it and when we came home my husband and my daughter's daddy who was in the driveway talking to somebody that I don't remember and with the peach tree hanging out the top of the sunroof and I thought they were going to swallow their teeth they thought it was so funny <laughs> so this layout brings back a lot of fun, exciting memories for me. And my peach tree does come, apple tree, it's peach tree for me. It does come from the freshly picked Cricut cartridge. And I love this cartridge. I always forget about it. And it's such a sweet, cute cartridge. It really is. So I'm going to place it right there. My next image is my grass and it's cut in two layers. And I did ink around the edges of most everything. <coughs> Excuse me. And my grass is cut at 11 and a half by 3 and a half. And it comes from the Martha Stewart All Occasions Art Cartridge. I do believe it's only a digital cartridge. Okay. 
and I'm going to line it up at the bottom starting at the right hand side because it's going to be a little bit longer than my other layer. Oh, it's not. That's my 11 and a half layer. Sorry. I had a brain cramp. <laughs> so that's where that's going to go. And then I have a photo mat. I've got it the dark brown layer cut at six and a half by four and a half and the deep blue layer cut at six and a quarter by four and a quarter and I am going to lay it down flat of course and I'm going to tuck it in between the layers of my grass. Right about there and because there's no glue or adhesive on this my photo will tuck right in there just fine and I'm sorry I just got a text message and I'm on call tonight so I'm gonna pause for just a moment so I can make sure that's not an important call that I need to make sorry about that but thank you for waiting and the next image that I'm going to lay down is my little wheelbarrow and so far everything is paper pieced and when it's not because I did do some print and cuts I will uh, share that I did those as print and cut. The wheelbarrow is cut at 7.41 by 3.58 and it also comes from the freshly picked Cricut cartridge and I'm going to lay it down flat and I'm going to put it right on top of my photo mat here put it right there and I just realized I put tape under there and I don't want tape under there. I'm just going to move it all together for a second. I think I can without tearing up anything because I didn't put any tape under this portion or the wheel because I don't want it under that because it's going to come over my photo mat and my photo should tuck in there just fine. We'll tuck in there just fine. And then my title is quite different. It um, is, these are two images that both come from the freshly picked cartridge. The garden sign is cut at 3.07 by 3.45 and then the fresh I've already attached to my sign is cut at 3.75 by 1.71 and I am going to lay it down flat and I'm going to tuck the pick of my sign behind my wheelbarrow like it's coming out of it right like so and then I have my super sweet and cute little garden gnome he again is paper pieced together he again comes from the freshly picked cartridge and he is cut at 2.24 by 3.74 and I'm going to lay him down flat as well And I'm going to pop him right about here. And I want my word fresh to come. I don't want my word fresh to come in front of I don't want the F to come in front of him. There we go. 
Now he's down and looking cute with himself, as cute as he should be. Right, like so. <clears throat> and then my next image is my little spade that I've also paper pieced together. And my little spade is cut at 1.04 by 2.01, also from the freshly picked Cricut cartridge. I'm going to lay it down flat as well. And I'm going to put it right about here. And then I have my little gardening gloves that are also paper pieced. And they come together as a little set. And they are cut at 2.07 by 1.68. And I'm going to lay those down flat. I'm going to tuck them behind the spade and the warp wheelbarrow and here's my other one and I'm going to put it on top like so. It's turning out cute so far don't you think? <laughs> I do! <laughs> so and then my next image is my little garden gate. Again this is from the freshly picked cartridge I've inked around the edges of just about everything and my little garden gate is cut at 5.21 by 4.67 and I'm going to lay it down flat as well. And I'm going to line it up right over here at the edge. Like so. And then I have my little pot, terracotta pot of parsley that I'm growing. Again, from the freshly picked cartridge. It's cut at 1.74 by 3.10. And it is also paper pieced and inked around the edges. And I've got it popped up on foam tape. And I have cut a lot of teeny little pieces of foam tape. So it's going to take me a moment or two to pull it all off. <clears throat> there we go. And I am going to pop it right down here. And then my next image is just a little like pink poof flowers and I did these with print and cut and they're cut at 1.27 by 2.67 and I'm going to lay these down flat but because it's so small I am going to use my Ranger Multimedia mat And I'm going to put it right down here close to the, my garden gate, which is a great place for it. 
and then I cut out a cute little Cricut and my little Cricut is cut at 1.91 by 1.21 and I did do him as print and cut and I don't know if you can tell or not but I put Win Costella all over him because he's so freaking cute and I do have him popped up on foam tape as well and I think I forgot to yeah, I don't know. I don't, can't remember if I told about my photo mat, but it will hold a 4x6 photo. And I'm going to put my little Cricut right down here. At the bottom of my page. And that finishes the left side of this 12x12 scene scrapbook layout. So let's pull in the right side. I've already got that my pink and blue layers laid down cut exactly the same way as the other side <clears throat> and the next thing I'm going to do pull in is my next photo mat again it will hold a 4 by 6 photo and I'm going to put it close to the top here I have another super cute little Cricut that is cut the exact same way and he also has Wink Estella all over him and he is also on foam tape. And I'm going to put him up here taking ownership and guarding the photo mat. My next image is my son, but actually it is not a son at all. It is a sunflower, and it comes from the Cricut cartridge, Stretch Your Imagination. And I think I did very well with the title of that cartridge because I did stretch my imagination. It's a sunflower, not a sun, but I'm using it as a sun. And it is cut at 4.22 by 3.98. And I'm going to place it right up here in the right hand corner of my layout. Now, my next image that I'm going to lay down is my grass from the same cartridge and cut at the same measurements. I'm going to line it up at the bottom of my blue layer and lay it down. My next image is my cucumber sign and it is cut at 2.12 by 2.39. It is print and cut. I did not paper piece it together. I do use a good combination of print and, of print and cut and paper piecing when I do an image that is so, or scrapbook layout that is so large and I just realized I was trying to put this down but I need to know exactly where I want to put it so I need to put my next image my other image down first so I can determine that and that is the gazebo and I have cut the gazebo at 6.27 by 7.65 Again, it comes from the Freshly Pick cartridge. And the this orange layer, the gazebo, I have popped up on foam tape. And the top of the gazebo, I have top, popped up on foam tape. I did it with this one. And I did it with the flowers. <coughs> and it gave it some dimension. And I think it looks cute. And I have also inked around all the edges of everything on it. So I'm going to lay this down flat. I'm 
because I think popping the layers that I did pop up on fem tape gave it enough dimension and made it look really cool. And I'm going to place it right over here on the far left hand side and I'm going to come off the green layer a little bit I like the way that is looking and now my cucumber sign I can lay back down and I'm going to tuck it in between the grass layers the two grass layers Then I have a carrots, the picket sign, <coughs> excuse me, and it is cut at 1.67 by 2.11. Again, from the freshly picked cartridge, I'm going to pop it in between the two grass layers as well. And then, and it is print and cut. And my next print and cut layer is keep off the grass picket sign. And it is cut at 2.20 by 2.56. And I'm going to tuck it behind the last layer of grass. Right there. And then my next image is my little rake, and it is paper pieced together. It's three pieces, by the way, paper piecing. And my rake is cut at 1.74 by 3.10. And I will definitely have to use some wet glue to get this put down because it's so tiny. That turned out so cute. And... my glue flowing. There we go. And I'm going to have it propped up against my gazebo there. And then my next image is my little pink flowers. There are, I think they're geraniums, but I don't know. I hope they're geraniums, because I love geraniums. And these are cut at 3.03 by 2.78, and they are paper pieced. And I have inked around the edges of all of those. And I'm going to do a combination of my TG gun and some wet glue. I'm going to pop it right there, right beside the rake. And then I have my little um, other flower pot. And I'm not 100% sure what kind of flowers those are. But I cut these at 3.03 by 2.78. And uh, I'm going to use my ATG gun to put these down. right there so this finishes this two page 12 by 12 scene scrapbook layout it was so much fun to put together even though it was a lot of work and it took a lot of time I think it came out absolutely amazing and 
it really brings me back to the day that I was trying to capture from my photographs. So thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. I really appreciate your support. And the thumbs up and the comments. Cheers.